Hello. Hello, chat. How are you all today? Having a wonderful day. Yeah, uh, we're going to continue our Jedi Fallen Order little playthrough -y thing that we've been doing today, I think. Yeah. I think we're... I don't remember what planet we're back on, but... Or well, where we're up to. Oh, we're in Chapter 3, I guess. Allies. Right, yeah, that's right. We just did the Wookiee stuff on Kashyyyk. And then we're back on whatever planet this is. I remember now. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, yeah. I checked out some of the uh, the Survivor previews this morning. Interesting, actually. Um, customization stuff in the new in the new game looks absolutely. There's mint. a long journey ahead of us. These ancient tombs didn't survive all this time because they were easy to find. It's a challenge I'm willing to take. Oh yeah. I can see that. I'm glad you believe in what we're trying to accomplish. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah. Main sure objective. Where do we see this main objective? You. you were alone on Raka a long time. Uh, probably expecting Jedi from the High Council. But instead, you got us. And you got me. We're in this together. Yes, There's a lot are. of explorable areas I've missed, but I don't really see where the objective is. Let's get new Imperial Excavation. On a different level? Or should we just wander around and see if we can find it? The thing there... I feel like it must be through this unexplored bit here. I'm guessing. I can't actually see where it is. Right. We'll see how we go. We'll see if we can find it. Ah. Oh. I just need to walk slightly forward and then... Right. <laughs> okay, cool. It's over there. Fantastic. Exceptional work. Oh, hello. finish my coffee this morning. Where are they running to? I don't know if I can make that jump. This is another scomp link that I don't have. Yep. Fair enough. I'll get you. I wish you could stealth up on them. I wonder if Survivor has stealth. I'll get you. It's the right way. I think it is. I need to go up and then down. You have a skill point that we could probably defend. Can we afford anything? Delay, combo, agile, deflect, cal automatically deflects all running. 
And then maximum force increase. We'll do that, I guess. Alright. Keep moving, BD. slides. So where do we go from here? We go through there. Right, okay. Oh no. Yep. Oh, hello. Point acquired. Alright. Push this. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Wasn't expecting this. The giant Zepho statue. Kinda thought there would be Zepho stuff inside. Where'd you go, BD? I lost you. Oh, there you are. You just trying to point me in the right direction? I guess. That's fair. What do we do here? Scomplink? Oh, heck yeah, finally. Yeah, you're right. I think I could replace yours with this. Let's get you fixed up. How's that? <laughs> Wanna try it out? Go try it out. Come on, Benny. Slice panels to access new area. Slice away. Ooh. I see you down there. Hey, hey. More slicing. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Did I fall? Explore the Imperial excavation site. Right. Do that. We go up or down here. Someone over oh, hello. there. How do I get over there? Yeah, go through that spot there, and then that takes me. You? Yeah. 
See her. There's a transport ship leaving the Empire's base. Uh -huh. I heard. They plan to bring Zepho artifacts to Coruscant. Does that mean? That the Emperor is interested in Zepho? Maybe. After all That's this, for you, right? Promoted to perch troopers. If there are no Jedi left, then what's the point? Job done. That's true. I guess we'll have Job to done. settle for command positions. Job done. Get ready. Fine. Glass away, baby. Hello. Ah, oh, here they come. We found the Jedi. Won't kill me. Won't I? All right, we got it. It's through here. Ah. Is? And one of these. Do not concern yourself with a missing artifact. I'll deal with it personally. Personally. Not doing too bad, huh? Oh, interact. I love that it can't be called from this side, right? Okay. Nothing else in here. Me and my droid friend. Yeah, we got it. Oh, more jump. Always jump. Jokes, BD. I don't know. Why? <laughs> Classic. Classic. I totally understood that. Did you understand that, chat? That that made complete sense to me. Good. Gotta be some information on their excavation inside, right? Always looking on the bright side. Thanks, buddy. I think it's great that they have the subtitles for BD. And it's always just beep boop. Oh, hello. Can I push you off the edge? No, I can't. Oh, hello. I definitely feel like we've gotten better at the combat since our, our first horrendous stream where we died for two hours straight. I think we've we've learned since then. Oh, this is the elevator that will take us back to where we were. It's locked. What do you think? Let's have a little look up here first. In case there's something. Oh, I can't pull yet. I don't have pull, right? I only have push. Blow, wall run, push. Yeah, I don't have pull, so I can't pull that down. I get you. I get you. Uh, well, let's just activate the shortcut.
Brandon, hello. What difficulty are you playing on uh, Jedi Master? I started this little playthrough playing on um, Jedi... Is it Grandmaster? Whatever like the, the, the hardest difficulty is. And you basically just get one shot. Like, every, you make a single mistake and it's like, GG. So we, we put it down to Jedi Master. Which is still pretty tough. But I feel like it's a bit more... A bit more reasonable, especially the parry timing. Because there's so much... Uh, like... Because you got to parry all the, the blaster bolts. Makes it much easier. Enemy closing in! All squad is down. <laughs> Have you played on Jedi Master, Brandon? Hello, friend. Oh. oh, okay. Fair enough. Goodbye. Are the Inquisitors coming? It's possible, but we're far from Bracca. They might think purge troopers are enough. Or they could be stalling you on purpose. Yep. Stay wary. I am wary. Any sign of the tomb? No. And the Empire's been stepping up security. Keep your focus. Watch out for him, BD. Okay. We'll keep looking. BD's got me. I only played Jedi Knight on my first playthrough. Are you going to do a second playthrough before Survivor? That's kind of like why we're playing now. Is, is a little bit of a... Refresher on the story before Survivor. But I did Jedi Knight my first time through as well. Oh, I did have a skill point. Oh, well. Oh, I see you down there. Big guy. I guess we gotta swim, right? Yep. We gotta fight this big guy? Oh, there's another big guy over there. So I think, like, in terms of the story, I like I think I remember one of the reveals at the end, but most of it I don't remember. Hey, yeah, cool. Chris, you busy? Well, I was trying to watch the, you know, the... No, I'm not busy. Never busy. So, uh, you need something? I'm standing next to two crash ships. Looks two? like you weren't the only pilot who had trouble with the wind here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're Where's just realizing one? that? Where have you been? I mean, it doesn't get better than me. Yeah, okay. All I wanted to say was thanks. Uh, you know, you're, uh... You're, you're welcome, kid. But, uh, I... You know, I gotta go. I, I gotta think. So, gotta... See ya. Oh! Alright, I can't climb it. Okay. Jedi Survival have a Cal use more lines than before inspired by the older games like Jedi Knight Academy. Did you have you seen the um uh, just today there was a bunch of previews that went out. Um and, like a lot of people got to play um Jedi Survivor and they talked about the like the stances like and and the different forms. So you got like the normal single, there's double, there's dual wielding. Then there's the cross guard like Kylo Ren, and then there was uh, a blaster like like a it was a one one handed like one blade and then blaster in the offhand. So there is a bit a bit more different styles. It seems like it looks good. I am very keen to see more of the old Jedi Survivor and actually play it later this month. Hello?
there anything else up here? I don't think so. I think we just gotta go over there. We have a little look this way. I don't know, maybe. Probe droid. They're watching us, BD. Hello? Oh, hello, Probe Droid. Come on. Me. Oh, I missed. My bad, my bad. Do it again. I can't throw my lightsaber yet either, so that's really the only ranged attack I have. I'm pretty sure you could throw your lightsaber in this one. I think I've just got to unlock it. Oh! Hello? Oh, there. No! Oh. Maybe I should have waited. Good work, BD. Great work, BD. Cut. Great, shortcut. Exceptional. Yeah, there's lots of probe droids here. Canada 09. Good to see you, homie. How you doing, Ashimi? Getting ready for the second game coming this month? I absolutely am, my friend. I am. Kind of re-familiarize myself with the combat. And uh, the story. Remember the story? Are you going to pick up the second one? Yeah, I did see the new gameplay from other YouTubers. Jedi Survivor is an upgraded version of Fallen Order with a bigger map. There's tons of customization you can do with Cal BD and Survivor. Yes, there is. I'm more interested in the the combat stuff, like, than just the uh, the customization. Though the customization is good. Like, uh, don't get me wrong. Like, something that is really lacking in this one is the customization. It's either like poncho or no poncho, and the poncho is pretty like, eh, you know. I got this for free from PS Plus not long ago, I don't think. I'd definitely give it a try. Yeah, do it. It's a really good game. Probably like... Yeah, I would say not probably. I think it's it's like the best Star Wars game we've had in like... A long time. Thanks for the help. <laughs> oh. Alright, we'll just end. Loading screen. I think we're getting close. I noticed it earlier. This a little Dark Souls light with gameplay, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. At first, I thought it was Grease um, cooking. Yeah, Dark Souls light, for sure. Oh, it's getting even stronger. I think the closer we are. Like, I wouldn't say it's like a Souls like. It's more like a Souls light. I can't mean anything. Like, good. like it's got those that flow to it, but it's a little bit more forgiving. Um, less. Um, yeah, le less. Difficulty once you understand the combat too, I think. It's not too bad. And the way the skill points work is a little different too. I heard it was a little It was a little less cruel. It is a little less cruel, yeah. Like to give it to give it any indication, right? Like my partner um, finished the game uh, on the normal Jedi Jedi Knight. Yeah, Jedi Knight difficulty, like, just the normal difficulty. Um, and she, like, doesn't play games, like, Souls games or anything. Um, playing something on that difficulty, especially, like, a game like this, is pretty rare for her. And she managed to finish it. I think I helped her with one boss fight. Um, but otherwise, yeah, she smashed it. So, yeah, you'd be, you'd be fine. Come at me, punks. Ow! Ah! 
Put it on the highest difficulty, give it a go. Oof, don't put it on the highest difficulty. Just do Jedi Master like we're doing. I think the highest difficulty is a bit over punishing. They rely too much on uh, just changing the health numbers, like enemies doing an insane amount of damage and you doing very little. Oh. Alright, we got him. Now we can go deal with this guy in here. Oh, where'd you go? He's just gone. Alright, fair enough. Do you want to climb up a zip line? Jedi Master, thanks for the tip. No worries. What have you been playing, Canada? What's been on your Oh, Canadian. Canada, Canadian, same thing. What's been on your schedule lately? I've been playing some Breath of the Wild too. There's gotta be a way to the tomb now. Trying to get ready for uh What's that game called? Um uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Over here, BD. Very keen for that. All right, two skill points. What should we upgrade? Repulse, an airborne attack that allows car to push enemies away as he bursts slow. Agile deep Leaping Slash? Maybe we'll do a Leaping Slash. Have you tried the challenge modes in the meditation spots against Inquisitor Cal? I haven't even heard of that, Brandon. Where do I see that? Was that there at the game at launch? Because I only played like right at launch Think you can help me, originally. Baby? And I haven't played since. Uh, I was playing the E004 beta when I could. Went back to AC Origins, actually. Ate the new ones beside Origins. That's fair. What did you think of the uh, the Diablo 4 beta? I don't know if we talked about it. Oh, I missed! Very sad. Very sad. All right, again. All right, we got it. Daka! Thanks for becoming a member. Appreciate you. I don't know why... I don't know if the alert played. I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, I do see my feet. My feet. Oh my god, I should watch what I'm doing. But thank you, Ducker. Appreciate you. Nothing but Star Wars. Geek Ledger, did you look at the previews today? I haven't had a chance yet to talk about it. I enjoyed it overall. Most of my issues are not glaring with it. That's fair. What class did you play? Did you, um, oh, go this way too. Okay, go this way. Challenge mode is part of the May 4th, 2020 update. There's a new Inquisitor Owl skin if you play on New Game Plus after clean the story. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, like I said, I only played the game right on launch when it first came out and then haven't played since. Oh, hello? Probe drop it up there. Eh. No. That's too far up. Oh my. Help, please. Oh no, this probe droid. There we go. Leave me alone. <sighs> well, if we get through the whole game, maybe we can check it out. I'm busy guys, I'm busy. Just wait, wait, I'm busy! Ah. I to unlock the shortcut, guys. Alright, um. Oh wow, they're just like, oh, we'll just go back now. Oh! Oh, that car crossed the thing. <laughs> Suck it! Suck it! Druid, Rogue, bit of Necro. Which one did you like the best? Pretty good. Lies. 
I'm not critically injured. Ah! Oh no! Hey! You're on the wrong side! Get back in your side. Go have a look this way. Before we go anywhere else. I think I activated something here, right? Maybe I didn't? I did activate something here. Yeah, it looks like a lift. Maybe I didn't. Oh. You remain the druid at the start, even though some say it's weak, takes the max of Diablo two days. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know. The druid didn't feel that weak to me if you played it right. I think it's like the bear felt terrible. But, um, oh, hello. Bring it. Ow! Oh, I did miss. You're right. Oh! Come on, bitch. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. That's embarrassing. What is your main hope for Jedi Survivor? Mine is more mod support. The first game had replayability, but it doesn't have a lot of mod support. Most of the mods are cosmetic. Interesting. I don't know if that's something the devs would specifically focus on. What sort of mods would you like, Geek? For me, it's really about the combat. That's the big thing for me. I want more, uh, which it does seem like, based on the previews and, and everything, like more build variety. Like the thing with this game is that oh, I can't really see it because you can only see it from the meditation spots, but you basically have like one build. Like you have to just play the game the same way. And then it's like whether you use, you know, the double or the single blade, right? Like that's basically it. Um, but what I would like, really is more which seems like there is like the having the five different stances and you can only have like two or three of them equipped at once and like the flexibility in that is what i'm i'm interested in like i want to be able to tinker with different things like make different builds oh i swear i dodged that let's just run past these guys ah i'm gonna go fight that purge trooper anyway Running is not recommended. Unproductive human. Unproductive human. Wow. The sheer scope customization mechanics gameplay gives me hope. We get mod support on the level of all that Skyrim, like story DLC mods. Got to play more story. I don't know. I don't know about that. Welcome, challenger. We might, but depends, like, if there is a mod community that wants to do that sort of stuff. We got him. Give him a scan. I think you. I think Starfield would be where you'll see heaps of that geek in terms of games this year. What are we doing? Why are we crouching so much? Um, yeah, I reckon you'll see heaps of that in Starfield because of the sheer amount of planets and freedom in that. I reckon you'll see a ton of mod support for that because there's always that Fallout and Skyrim like mod community too that that do that stuff. Yeah, combat. Combat's number one for me. The tools in a hurry. They were anxious to locate relics, but also careless of the history buried here. Destructive measures. Go BD. Um. What do I do from here? Oh, I just stand here. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, we almost didn't make that. My men will double their efforts. We'll get inside, Officer Crane. Last game I played recently was Batman Return of Arkham Asylum. Beat the story three months ago. Should I play Arkham City next? Uh, yeah, absolutely, Brandon. If you enjoyed Asylum, go for it. I think Arkham Knight is the best 
of the Batman games, but if you enjoyed Asylum, definitely go straight into straight into Sydney. <laughs> I don't really remember much of City, actually. I remember Asylum and Arkham Knight, but, like, I, I don't really remember, like, anything about Arkham City. And I, I don't actually think I played Origins. Yeah, I don't think I did. What was different about Arkham City? Was it just that it was in the city rather than the Asylum? That feels like a shortcut, like I can knock that down somehow, but I have no idea how. Ball and Honor has such a good base for mods, but nobody was really taking advantage of it. I hope the sheer scale of the sequel gives more, gives mod developers more inspiration. I think the massive amount of cosmetic survivor might mean get more mods that focus on other things. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Like, it, it really depends on the mod community and whether they're interested in modding it. And then how easy it is. Like, Bethesda games, they make it easy because they have the toolkit that they provide creation club toolkit so they you know they oh hello how predictable he's been standing oh, here waiting yes. for me i know your name your past and most importantly about cordova tell me where did he hide the holocron outstanding let's fight bring it Win. It. One second, sister. Bring it. Yeah. Damn. Oh! Yeah, fair enough. Sluggish. Have one of these. Call me sluggish. This is too easy. Why don't you like fight me? Good hit, good hit. You're bound to get one. I will destroy oh. you. I've suffered far worse. Oh! Trust him! Trust him, Betty. Well done, BD. You're learning. Not quite as gifted as Sears' last apprentice, but not bad. You've been keeping count. I'm surprised she didn't tell you. Sarah was never good at keeping secrets. And you know her so well, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she was weak. Cracked in an Imperial torture chair. Surrendered the location of her naive Padawan. They would never have found me. If it wasn't for her, she betrayed me. Please. Patrilla. In the flesh. I won't let you manipulate me. So sure are you? When faced with a choice to protect herself or her Padawan, she chose self-interest. She'll sell you out, too. Well, I can handle myself. Can you afford to take that chance? Your new master harbors great darkness. The look on her face when she saw what they had done to me, as I am now. She turned, exposing her true nature. Dark she side. used the dark side. Ah! She cut herself off from the Force. Oh? How long before she cracks and betrays you, too? Is that who you want beside you when you find the Holocron? 
What would Jaro Tapal say? You have no right to mention his name. I wonder. What would he think if he could see his Padawan now? Skulking in the shadows with a betrayer. Granting her access to a legion of impressionable students. No. I won't let anyone touch them. I thought the same thing once. Well, well, we did it first try. Arkham City had an open world, tons of side missions and more playable characters. Get straight into it then, Brandon. Jump right in. Looking at the Nexus mods, 85% Fallen Order mods are cosmetic, customization based, the rest being mechanics, graphic overhauls, they do zero extra stuff. Just having more content to play, have more re come back. Uh, it's wanting to re-experience the kind of story. Yeah, fair. Did you, um, Brandon mentioned it before, the, uh, the challenges in the New Game Plus mode, did you play those, Geek? Or was it like Inquisitor, Inquisitor Cal challenges or something? Yep. Thanks for the help back there, BD. You saved my life. And got us closer to the tomb. It is definitely my favorite, but rather short for an open world game. Could be beaten over a weekend if you want to help it. Open world games back then, back in, well, it wasn't my day, but back in that day, <laughs> were, were often a bit smaller than they are now. Which is, I think is actually a good thing. Like, I think open world games these days are just too big. Like, some of them are just, like, like Skyrim is an, ex not Skyrim, Starfield is an extreme example of that, right? Like, it's a thousand planets and blah, blah, blah. But there's, you know, like, open worlds, it's always about, like, how big they are. Like, how big is this open? Look at how massive our open world is. It's like, I don't really need the open world to be, like, you know, gigantic. I would just like it to be enjoyable and like, you know, have lots of insp like in like intricacies and things to explore and like rather than just like a big it. barren Feels landscape that's like six gazillion kilometers. That's just me, I guess. Like, what do you guys think? Do you know. prefer a you prefer a bigger open like world it. or like a smaller, more dense open world? Not exactly pro at Fallen Order, so we're trying to we're trying to do the last couple of challenges. We've got. Three weeks before the sequel comes out, smash him out. Here we go. Yep. I found it, but Seer. Why didn't you tell me? Because she's a liar. You. You. How? I rerouted communication the moment you tried to contact her. Slicing <laughs> encrypted <laughs> transmissions was always a pastime of hers. She taught me once. There's no technique there has that I haven't perfected. Uh, I think I 100% of the first playthrough, then 100% of New Game Plus. We're trying to get the platinum on PlayStation. What do you need to get the platinum? Is it like a? Is there a difficulty? Like you have to do it on like the hardest difficulty. I hate platinum setup like that. This is Eve, by the way, chat. I don't know how many of you guys have met Eve. She doesn't join us very often on stream. Oh! Okay, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. No. Oh, that's the one I can't block. Right, 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 right. Another step! Oh, no! Oh. oh my. You smash the second sister, and this one dude is just destroying us. We barely even got hit by the second sister. We used all our stims on that one dude. Oh yeah.
I don't disagree, but some of them games that are big are great. Witcher 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, Arkham Knight, Ghost of Tsushima. They are, if the game is interesting and keeps your attention. Yeah, for sure. Like, Witcher 3 is, like, my favorite video game ever. So, like, I'm not... I don't disagree with that at all. Um, but, like, I just... There's a lot of games these days that... Seem like... It seems like open... Like, the size of your open world is, like, a marketing factor. Like, it's, like, check out our gigantic open world. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. You gotta finish all the challenges. Once I get the platinum, I'll download the PS5 version and then port my save over for the free extra platinum. Oh, oh that's smart. That, that's very smart. My friend, these devices yep. appear to simulate this planet's gravitational pull. I can't help but see it. Does the, does the graphic upgrade from PS4 to PS5 actually substantial? I barely remember what it least. Like, I guess it's probably the same on PC, right? Like, they probably didn't get much of a, much of a note. I did hear great things about Arkham City has the best story. Arkham Knight has the best open world driving Batmobile gameplay of all the Arkham games. Yeah, I would agree with that, Brandon. You're running out of time. Yeah. For what? My scouts located an artifact of interest at the rear of this tomb. Even now, I'm studying it. Learning his secrets. It seems Cordova was rather taken to be Zephyr. Perhaps enough to hide Hello, the friends. Hulk amongst their foes. We'll see how much you learn. I missed the target. Get the target. Step back, I've got this. All right, go on, then. It's our job to trail you. Hey, Game Master. How's it going? It's going good. Going good here. Yeah. We're just chilling out. Enjoying some Fallen Order. How's it going for you? Am I just big to be big now, which is the Assassin's Creed doing, the last two especially, which are terrible in my opinion. Yeah, Can Canadian, absolutely. That's that's exactly what I mean, right? Like, big big for, for no reason. Like, I don't necessarily need my open world to be like, ah, be like gigantic. Like, I, I just want it to be fun to explore. That's the thing for me, at least. I'm excited for the new game. Me too. Game Master, me too. Did you look at the uh, the previews and stuff this morning when they went out? What did you think, if you did? Ah! Hello. I'm almost having like a flashback to the first time I played this at launch and getting stuck on this same puzzle. Thanks, baby. On PS4, the frame rate's locked at 30. Oof. Yep, there you go. It's so noticeable for me now, like playing games that are like 30 this. versus 60. Where'd you go, BD? Am I gonna scan in there? Go for it. Yeah. Don't right. work. What I found here is disconcerting. Fight it and loved it? Heck yeah. What does this do? Oh, that activates that. Oh, nice. Origins was big, but for me, it had interesting points of interest. Lots of cool little details, so I mentioned uh, actually good ones in there. Origins was a good video game, Assassin's Creed Origins. I agree. I enjoyed the Egypt setting. Oh, hello. We're gonna fight, aren't we? Oh. I don't know why I struggle with these guys so much. Oh, ow. Hey. 
you can knock out that little wobbly thing in there. Ow. I need a stim, BD. Draw a stim. Oh my. How do you knock the thing out? I swear you could knock the thing out. I remember doing it last stream. There we go. We did it. Ah. New story takes us who we're going to face. For sure. I am also very excited. The Batmobile was overused way too much in Arkham Knight. The perfect crime or man bat side mission, my favorite in Arkham Knight. Hmm, interesting that you reckon, I reckon the Batmobile was like, was used the right amount. Like I think driving the Batmobile in Arkham Knight was just like an insane amount of fun. Goodbye. Like just like crashing into things and like all like the debris and stuff going like, pew, pew, like I love that. Arkham series peaked at City. Origins was fun. Good game is nine, but ranking best first. Well, City, uh, City Asylum, Night Origins. Oh yeah. Man, speaking of Night, that game ran horrendously on uh, on PC at launch. I remember it just being awful. Like almost everything these days. Let's be honest. I love driving the Batmobile. Me too. Are you going to play Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, which got delayed 2024 because of the gameplay backlash? I am going to play it. Um, I was, and I still probably will. I'll, I'll cover it on the channel like I did with like Gotham Knights. We'll probably do some some coverage. Um, I don't know though. I'm, I'm really nervous about that game. Like, I don't know what you guys think. I'll be interested to hear your opinion, but I'm very nervous about Suicide Squad. That gameplay did not look good, man. Like... I know that, like, they're delaying it to try and polish it, make it good, whatever, but a one-year delay or have, you know, eight months, whatever it is, isn't going to, like, comp oh, my gosh. <laughs> isn't going to reshape the game to be, like, um, like something completely different, right? Like, it's just not enough time. So it, it might be polished and a bit better, but it's still going to be the same core game. I'm just very... I'm very worried about what that final game is. It doesn't look like what I thought it was going to be, The tank segments were? The tank segments. Yeah, I remember that. All right. I also remember these things. Uh, yeah. More of my soldiers breach this tomb every minute. Ah, oh, shut up, Trey. Afraid to face me yourself? Had your droid not intervened, I would have killed you with ease. Have you played Hogwarts Legacy? So I have not. Just ignore it. I didn't like them forcing the Batmobile into so much story missions and activities it got tiring for me. I guess I could I can see with that. I can see that point. 09, I can definitely see that. I also think Suicide Squad looks pretty weak, doesn't have me very excited or interested. Yeah. Doesn't have me excited or interested for sure. Press this button. What happens when we press the button? Well, well, okay then. But yes, very skeptical about Suicide Squad, and I, I, I'm not even worried that it got, or I'm like mad that it got delayed. Like well, there is so much stuff coming out this year. Like we're gonna be fine. Like we're gonna be eating good this year with video games. You know what I mean? Like we haven't had any real bangers come out yet but well i guess you had resident evil 4 which i haven't played yet but everyone's in fantastic but but there's lots of uh, lots of games coming out this year like boulders gate 3 and i am so keen for the full release of boulders gate 3 
played it for about a month straight. Before I took a break, I'll probably come back to finish the story. You're not getting out of here alive. That's another open world game, isn't it? Is the open world in that speaking about our open world discussion? Is that one of the one of the boring, overly bloated open worlds? Kinda of looked like it was. I see you down there. I see you up there. Nope, not at all. But maybe a little. Goodbye. Okay. Activate this thingy. Ah. When I first saw the gameplay, I was hoping those Squad members would be different abilities similar to 7 Remake. Uh, instead of being a live service to a person shoot a game. I mean, I think, Brandon, I think we all were kind of thinking that. Like, you know, superhero games don't really lend themselves to being third-person looter shooters. Because, you know, you got to have, like, all their different powers and abilities and stuff. But, yeah, I guess that's not where Rocksteady took it. The floatiness is what scared me the most. Like how everyone just kind of like floats around. You know what I mean? Like everyone's got like this weird like indefinite jetpack and they're just like wee floating around like shooting stuff. It was like ooh. Hmm. Unsure. Uh, okay. Ooh, let's press that again. Ooh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Alright, so we, uh, we do that. Nope. There. That. And then we do this. Press the button. Quick! No! Go back! No! Ah! Alright, um. Try that again. I think Rocksteady deserves a break. They pumped out three awesome games in seven years. Then they told they want to take a break. So we, WB, put them on a random sort of squad multiplayer service game. It's interesting, Geek. Like, I, I tend to believe the rumors that they were originally working on a Superman game. I think that that was what their next project actually was. And then that got canned and they ended up on Suicide Squad because everyone wanted a piece of that, that um, games as a service money. But interestingly, like, basically what uh, Gotham Knights was seemingly going to be and then they... They pivoted because of the fall of Avengers. Still committed to it. Suicide Squad. I'm mostly waiting on Diablo 4, Baldur's Gate 3. When I get a computer that isn't a complete a complete potato. Please stay Last down. Epoch to try. I'm curious about Last Epoch. That's actually been kind of on my radar for a while. Pretty crazy that Guardians of the Galaxy will likely be better than Suicide Squad in the end. Never would have thought that happened. Like, honestly, is Guardians of the Galaxy, other than Spider-Man, the best, like, superhero game that we've had in, like, the last, like, 10 years? Like, obviously, there's Spider-Man and Miles Morales, like, and they're both fantastic, but... Yeah, I think Avengers wasn't good. Um, Gotham Knights, etc. Like, is it the best out of those? And, and it is pretty damn good. Oh, actually, we're forgetting Marvel Snap. The GOAT. The, the best video game ever, Marvel Snap. Bring it, punk. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Little help, BD. And step. Oh, I hate that they have a little slither of health left. Rude. Mind tossing me a stim? Thanks, BD. Yep. Imagine the artifacts the Empire would have missed if it weren't for your intervention on this backwater planet. Sure, it's worth the cost. You know what games I would love to see remastered? Price. What games would you love to see remastered, Game Master? Supposedly getting a PS5 exclusive Superman game from PlayStation Maybe. Studios. Are we really geek? Down for that. Let's see it. Let's let's play it. Ah, there we go. Ah, a little bit of, bit of spice. 
Short card unlocked, eh? Alright. Green Arrow and Martian Manhunt again from by Rocksteady. Interesting besides the Arkham trilogy. Green Arrow game would be sick. Right, like bow mechanics. I want to see the rest of the Onamushu games get remastered. Dot Hat games get remastered. Dino Saga, Sly Cooper. I reckon there'll be a Sly Cooper game in the next like ten years. The interesting thing about video game, especially. Uh, remasters and like new games coming is like if they stay in the zeitgeist enough like if people talk about them enough they eventually just like happen like you think about you know the crash bandicoot's return and spyro's return and you know the return of those sort of platformers like it'll come i don't think i don't think uh insomniac will make it though like insomniac have got a ton of stuff they're already working on i think it'll be like like uh not mine. Hello. Ah! Um, who are those guys that did the Demon Souls remake? Is it Blue Point? I suspect maybe they'll they'll do some sort of a remake. Stuff like that. Ouch. Please, stop that. Or even the Ratchet and Clank team. From Insomniac. Ratchet and Clank. Uh, whichever. What was the name of the new Ratchet and Clank? I can't remember. But that was, that was good. I thoroughly enjoyed the Ratchet and Clank. Oh my. Excuse me. Enough of that. Thank you. Rude. Not feeling so great, BD. It got leaked. Oh, really? Interesting. You don't ever play Manhunt. I know, like, nothing about it. Oh, I missed. No, actually. <laughs> he might escape. Oh. Goodbye. Let me tell you, it never gets tiring to push people off ledges. I think I can do anything here. That's like a shortcut or something. Oh yeah, remastering them, Brandon. A Jedi, a Jedi, like the Jedi Knight series, like Jedi Outcast, um, and um, what was the other one? I've taken the artifact back to my ship for analysis. Jedi Outcast and Jedi. Pity you couldn't make it in time. Doesn't matter what you steal, you'll never understand it. Yet you do. You'll I just got Survivor in my head because that's the. I'll take those odds. <laughs> that's the new one. What's the? What was it? Jedi Outcast and Jedi. Was it Outlaw? No. What were the? What were the two old Jedi games? Um, Jedi Academy, Academy, that's the one. Academy was sick. I thoroughly enjoyed that game. I'd, I'd love them to, to redo that. Yep. Oh, KOTOR, yeah, KOTOR would be. Well, we were we were supposed to be getting a Kotor uh, remake, but from Aspire. But who knows what's happening with that? That seems to have uh, fallen off a cliff. Xbox accuses Sony of locking out Xbox from negotiating for the Superman rights with WB by saying Sony wouldn't support Suicide Squad on PlayStation consoles, and thus WB went with PlayStation. That sounds like a classic PlayStation move. Here we go. Yep. Yep. Oh, what are we doing here? Oh, well, well. Anything down there? Come on, there's gonna be something in these. 
missed opportunity. Saints Row remaster? Ooh, I don't know about that, Chief. I don't think we're going to get any new Saints Row in a while. After uh, the abysmal remake, re whatever that was. What would you classify that as? What came out last year? It's not really a remake. Re reboot, I guess? Reboot? There is apparently a big update coming and like some DLC or something I saw this year that they're, they've got some stuff coming for it. I don't know. Unsure about how I feel about the whole thing. All right, I'll be back in two secs, chat. I'm back. Oh, you enjoyed the reboot. I did not, unfortunately. I think the open world was was okay, but like the missions were just awful. I just didn't could not stand the missions at all. It also alleged that PlayStation put Santa Monica Studios on Superman since Corey Barlog wants to take a break from God of War so we can focus on TV adaption. Oh, down. I'm down for it. Santa Monica Studio Superman game, heck yeah. Got delayed because the studio cut the writer. Who also... I don't think that was why it got delayed, Brandon. I'm pretty sure they didn't like the gameplay slice that they got. Um, I'd have to look it up again, but I'm pretty sure like they presented like a gameplay slice to to Disney or Lucas LucasArts, whoever deal with that, and they were like, nope, do not like. But do you know what I really want to know? what's happening with speaking of just studios and stuff. Does anyone in chat know who Warhorse Studios are? Just don't Google it. I want you to just tell me if you know who, just like give me a yes if you know who Warhorse Studios are and tell me what they make. Don't Google it, all right? I'll know if you Googled it. I'll know. What do they make, Canada? On a completely different note, we'd like a we'd like to give Project Zomboid a try at some point. I've heard good things about Project Zomboid, but I have never played it myself either. I noticed something while examining the sarcophagus. It's a very Well done, well done. Canadian 09, well done. Uh, what system you play on? Right now I'm on PC, uh, using an Xbox controller. I typically play most things on PC or PlayStation 5, depending on the, uh, the game. Boys over there. Hello. Oh, fire. Don't let them escape. Watch yourselves. Oh, hello, ship. Hello. But yes, so on the on that topic, ah, um, of Warhol Studios and Kingdom Come Deliverance, they have been quiet on the video game front for a while, right? Which, like, Kingdom Come came out 2016. They did DLC until like 2018, 2018, 2019, or whatever. Um, they've got to be making a sequel or something and uh, I love Kingdom Come Deliverance so I'm very keen to see what they're working on next and I don't think it's long I'm going to wait to find it ah! get to the gym no come back lightsaber come back
We gotta pull it. This is where we learn to pull. Confirmed it. Where is the force? Uh, Superman pitch was rejected by Sony me, Santa Monica going director. So. It connects you. There will be times when emotion that his pitch was a Superman original just game based on Smallville. That sounds awesome. Cut off, isolated. This is an mm. illusion. Kingdom Come is solid. It takes some time to get into. It does take some time to get into. Do you know, if you really like Red Dead Redemption, I think people who like Red Dead Redemption will really like Kingdom Come Deliverance because it's got that kind of slow, methodical pacing to it and that really kind of intricate um, design where, like, you have to do things that seem, like, mildly infuriating, but it's, like, so, like, authentic to, like, the experience. Do you know what I mean? Forces within you, around you, connecting you to your weapon. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Pull it. You must ignore all distraction. Flashback with Master T'Pol. What the? What a homie! I love the homie T'Pol. Oh, we got it. We learned to pull. Forces with me. It connects us. I have one with them. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah! Look at us, huh? We got a little pull now. Needs to appear in live action. He's totally going to appear in live action. Come on now. You don't get like an actual legitimate actor to be the face and the voice of the character if he's not going to appear in live action one day. Like he's definitely going to get a cameo appearance in something. Hey. Okay. And if you know this... But Star Wars Jedi Academy is on the current consoles. I didn't know that, actually. On the current consoles. It hasn't been remade or anything, has it? Is it just like that old, the old version has been like put on new consoles? Not part of your plan? Luckily, I always allow for contingencies. Bloody trip. Alex said the game will probably release started when but we're really oh new skills Can we have a look at that back get back in there back in there Come on. I only have one skill point though as old graphics it's a good game though academy's loved it holding pool allows Kyle to pull and hold New skills are grand and all, but we need some skill points before we can do anything with them, so I'll just leave it. Alright. I guess we just go back the way we came, right? I suppose. I'd squeeze. I don't know how, like, you know, this this thing in video games, right? We always like crawl through these like tight spaces. Like that's cool and all, and it's like clearly a loading screen. Like that's what it's supposed to mask. But as a as a real person, would you ever actually do this? Like, would you just crawl into a random space like this that is so tight that like you're basically stuck there and you don't know what's on the other side? Is that a real thing that anyone would actually do? Like, I wouldn't do that. It'd scare the crap out of me. Gotcha. One of us. One of us. One of us. Turn it on. Here we go. One of these. Yep. Oh, damn. He's dead. He's, he's very dead. Next one. If you're claustrophobic, certainly not. Definitely. I would not. <clears throat> I don't even know if, like... Like, I wouldn't say I'm super claustrophobic. Don't give him an opening. But I don't even know if... I just would in general. Like, it just feels like a like common sense. Like, you don't know what's on the other side. Why would you crawl into that little tight space? What if you can't get out? Like, what if you're just stuck there? You're just like, well, I guess I die now. Eh. I'm down. Probe droid. Alright, he's dead anyway. Alright, good. And Jedi Outcast is on current consoles? Oh. Hello. Then. Hello. Used during powerful attacks. Pull to interrupt them. Okay. 
Well, I don't have any force powers, so I can't. Yeah. Ah! Well, too bad. So we decided to do this to video game logic, Norris. Yeah, you're right. It is video game logic. Nobody cares for their own safety in video games. Even the bad guys. Ta da! Yeah, oh, bit of a florino here. Let's put this bad boy in there. Ow! It's rude. Get in there. Moving back. What are you guys in there? Get rid of that one. What? How did he land that? You can't. Oh, my bad. Got him. What? How did you escape me? Oh. Can I? I'm excited for the game from the perspective because the game is being written by a team of writers, including writers from Infamous, Ratchet and Clank, and Uncharted. Which game are you talking about? Are you talking about the Spider-Man game? Ah, uh, Spider-Man, Superman. Imagine lightheartedness of Ratchet and Clank, action adventure, dark edge of Infamous. Hello. Oh. Come on, hit him. Hey, droid. Stop it. Help out here. Ah. I can't even hit you. This probe droid keeps interrupting my attacks. Ah! Alright, that's that one. Can you come here? Ah! Nope. Oh, that was more difficult than it should have been. I'll submit you. Are you more excited for Eclipse or the Ubisoft untitled open world Star Wars game? It's going to be more revealed at Star Wars Celebration this year. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they do at Celebration. Um, more excited for Eclipse or the untitled game? Uh, maybe the untitled game? I don't know. The, uh, like, the David Cage story games are, like, they're not bad, right? Like, don't get me wrong, they're not awful games, but, like, I just don't know if, um... This was an offering to the sage buried here. I don't know if it will be... considered precious. Good, I guess. Like, I feel like his, like, not his genre, but his style of game has run its course. You know, like, a woman in distress sort of thing like i don't know i don't know that's just my opinion i guess we'll see like I, he could be it could make something completely different who knows oh dear oh we're so dead we are so dead <sighs> kind of a tirelessly eclipse looks awesome with a bit 
Look, my game. Well, I take place Coruscant, then take all my money. Just give me that bounty hunter game, like Star Wars nine. What was it? Star Wars nineteen eighty five or whatever. Eighteen eighty five. Whatever. What was that Star Wars game? Just give me that, man. Like, just make that game. That looked like a ton of fun. 13, 13. Thank you, Geek. Yeah, that. Just give me that. That's that's all I need. Just, oh, these friggin' pro droids. The worst. I want them to die. Located a hostile. Yeah, okay. No. Oh! Stop it. Stop it. <sighs> These pro droids, man. I had a number of them. I never want to see another pro droid in my life. Never again. Execute the intruder. He looks weak. I do look weak. It's true. Anyone? Anyone? Gotta get back. Ah! Ah! Stimpy. Oh, what's up here? I didn't say this before. Nothing. All right, maybe I did see this before. Imagine we get an entire. Uh, I gotta get back to work. Enjoy the Star Wars warm up for the new release. My noise and everyone. Yeah, good to see you. Very nice. Thanks for coming to hang out, talking some some video games with us. I appreciate you. Enjoy your work. Imagine we got an entire open world Coruscant game one day. You go know, anywhere on the entire planet into all the build servers from top level servers to the planet. That would be very sick, but I. Don't think that we would get the entire planet. I think that's just like too much. But that would be sick. Oh, dude. Can I push you off the edge? Yes. Thank you. Oh my. Stop. What? Just fall off the edge, man. Come on. Just leave me alone. Probe droids, man. This dude. Why are they so annoying? Oh. It's the worst enemy type. Hey GB, how you doing my friend? How's work today? All right. Let's just let him do some killing in there. For a little bit. We'll just, we'll just hang out, we'll let him take some damage and then we'll go fight him because I have no stims. Amy Hennig. Making a game with a new studio, Skydance Media, after being fired by Naughty Dog. Uh, that was a while ago, Brandon. She, after she, I don't think she was fired from Naughty Dog. She left Naughty Dog and went to, she was with Google for a while. No, I think she was making her own game for, it might've been Ubisoft actually. I think it was, she was making something for Ubisoft and then that got canned. And then she went and worked for Google for, um, uh, Stadia, and then obviously we know what happened with Stadia. That thing never took off, and so then that got canned. And then now she's making her own, her own, uh, her own thing for Sony. I think similar to like Kojima Productions. Like she's got her own studio that's like supported by Sony, um, but not like a part of Sony. All right, we're alive. We beat the big scary monster. Now what?
Now, let's go for this thing. Maybe. I don't actually know if her new game is, if Amy Henning's new game is actually a Star Wars game. I'm not sure. I feel like after having been on like three failed Star Wars projects, you just want to like not. Do you know what I mean? Like you'd want to just make something else. Like, like I I'm done with Star Wars. I just want to make something else. That's what I would think. Come on, cow. It's definitely not that way. That we have discovered. Um. Oh, uh, yep. Maybe this way? Oh, yeah, this has got to be it. I see you and your little saber around the corner there, punk. I do see you. Be yeah. Darth Vader horror game would be incredibly, incredibly to play one day. Heck yeah. Imagine like, like a Darth Vader horror game, kind of like Resident Evil, right? And like, instead of Mr. X, it's Darth Vader. And you're just like a youngling or something like running from, running from Vader. Man, give me that game. What am I doing with this? Why am I carrying this? I don't even know. But I've got it. And, uh, yeah, we can go over there. That's right. Is there, like, stuff back here we can break? I don't think so. Nah, nah. Yeah, I would dig that. Even just, like, a Sith video game. Wouldn't a Sith video game, like, Star Wars game, be cool where you just play as a bad guy? I guess the lines are a little gray in some regard because that's what I want. I want that lightsaber throw right there. Because like you do just like slaughter a bunch of people in the in Je these Jedi games. Even though we're the good guys, we're slaughtering the bad guys like, you know, with no remorse. But I love a game where you, like Force Unleashed, I guess, a little bit like that, where you play as a bad guy. Be good fun. I can see. Chest. I want that chest. Nope. None of that. Oh, yeah, the big stompers. We got him. Every Star Wars game in development. Respawn is making two games, one FPS, one tactical strategy. A relic from the ancient Zephyr. Star Wars Eclipse by Heavy Rain. Sense great vanity and extravagance. Hodor remake by Saber Interactive. History. Star Wars Hunters by... What is Star Wars Hunters? I haven't heard of that. Ubisoft and Massive making open world Star Wars Just game. Amy Hennings making Star Wars game at Skydance. You mean. Interesting. I didn't think she was making another one. Want to check it out? What you got there? Enter paint job, eh? Greasy money. All right. Um. Okay. I'm down here. Can I pull your thing out? I can. I want to be K2 in a game. I can vibe with that. I can vibe with being K2. Oh, speaking of Star Wars games, actually. Um, uh, Galaxy's Edge, the VR game, and the, the Darth Vader. Is it Darth Vader Immortal or whatever? Those Darth Vader games? They're actually lit, by the way. Um, the VR games, especially the, the Darth Vader ones where you like literally just have a lightsaber and force powers and stuff. and you, you know, it's actually They're actually really good. 
Um, okay. What do I do with this? I just like let go. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay. One of these good old... Oh! Hello? Hello. Can I push you off? No, I can't. How did you get down here, by the way? You went here before. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah? What does this do? Plug her in there. Ah, oh, I forgot these little things. This is gonna be annoying. I already feel it. Can I do it? Oh! Cool if an Imperial clone commander, commander sequel, the mall game, or something like three. And there's so many games, good games that they were working on that just never, never came around. Um, okay. So, now that we're here, what do? Can I be on the other side of that? Yeah. Well, actually, now I'm even more. Actually, if we. Ah, I think I get it. I get it. I get it. We do that. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And then because there's water here, I can't do that. So then we, we come over here. We come on the side of this. And then we pull that. That goes down. And we come up here. Figure it out. Figure it out! Hunters PvP arena game. That's probably not Star Wars Hunters specifically, but like something. Oh, that's not what I want. Give me the give me the orb thing. <sighs> Ew. Can I not reach it? Yeah, I can't. Maybe. Uh oh. Let's put it right there. Right here. Right there. Oh, pull this. What? I'm fine, BD. I don't need your help. I know how to do puzzles. Yeah, I would reckon the FPS that Respawn are working on would be a, um... No. Would be that style, like a... PvP, like Apex Legends, basically, right? That's, I would fully expect that's what it is. Like Apex Legend. Not a Battle Royale specifically, but like, you know, that sort of like, maybe clones or like stormtroopers or something sort of PB. Remains of the Zeppo soldier. They were killed for stealing an offering to the sage. We did it. Look at that, son. I would like them to make a Star Wars game that's like not in the Skywalker saga. Like, make me something that's, you know, like way out in, um, like, like the High Republic or something. Like, you know, that stuff that they've been doing with the High Republic. Like, make me a Star Wars game that's in that kind of era. Or even something non canon. Like, wouldn't it be cool just to play something that's just like just a fun video game? Like, I don't understand why everything has to be canon in Star Wars. Ah! Right now I'm down here. I do not know where I'm supposed to stick that thing. Get up there. 
Oh, hello. How's he doing that? That was Hunters is not in canon. But it's an old game though, right? I'm talking about like the new like since Disney bought uh since Disney like bought Luke well Star Wars, you know, Lucas Lucas Arts. Make me something cool. I'm fun. All right, BD. Handles from getting doused. Okay. Right. We can use their metal casings to our advantage. What? What metal casing? I don't even know what you're talking about. You're making zero sense to me. Hell, absolutely zero. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's progress, that's progress. Yeah, I don't think this is it. I don't think I can stick it up that high. Yeah, I definitely don't think I can. Not Apex Legend style respawn. I've said it's specifically inspired by Call of Duty, first-person shooter. Single player campaign as well as multiplayer. Yeah. I mean that that is kind of what I meant, but like, not. I didn't mean like a battle royale, but like that sort of a style of game, like that first-person shooter. It'll be, uh, it will be a lot like Apex Legends, regardless. I think like. Just like they'll use a lot of the mechanics from that game. Where am I supposed to put this thing? Chat, do you do you know? What do I do with this? Where do I put it? I have zero idea where I'm supposed to put this damn thing. Like literally none. Like, I obviously need to have it- Oh! Is this right? We figured it out! Not to worry, we're still flying half a ship. Alright. Grab one of these. Shoot that bad boy over there. Oh, I already had one anyway. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We did it! Huzzah! We friggin' did it. Look at us, huh? So good at this video game. Oh yeah? Did it a lift? Oh, Eclipse is set in higher public, is it? Here it is. I have finally that sounds found good an intact representation of this sacred Zepho artifact. My friend, look closely. I'm looking closely. This is Nictral at the vault Umbergana. You can see an object in their hand. Based on this imagery, I believe this object allows a force wielder to perceive the mysteries of the vault. This is the key and the guide. The Zepho Astrium. But who would destroy images of it, and why? It requires more research. However, our next step is clear. Find an astrium, if any still exist. An astrium? You ever heard of it? Me neither. But a key. Yeah, I understand that. Looks like we know what we have to find. All right. We are up here now. Fair enough. Do you know? Yes. 
Apparently the teaser from the Video Game Awards a couple of years ago was a concept trailer that hadn't even sat down to write down what the game would be. High Republic? Oh yeah, absolutely. That trailer was, I mean, every single trailer that you see that is just like a CGI shenanigans like that, you, it comes with the caveat that that is not the video game at all. It's literally just an announcement of a Very game being good, made. It's Padawan. like has nothing representing what it will be. What are you like talking about? EA have done it a heaps with uh, Dragon Age, um, Dreadwolf. Like basically all of their I trailers are just CGI need. concepts. You're of no use to me. Can you reverse what she's done? Beep, 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 beep. Thanks. Hope this new encryption keeps her out for good. No! Try again. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yep. What do we got here? A probe droid processing unit. What's it like hacking other droids anyway? Yeah, I'd feel weird about hacking people too. For a good cause though, right? Okay. And the pro droids will fight for us. Check in with the Mantis. Trilla probably knows where they are. You sure the comms fixed? They're not answering. Something's wrong. We need to get back. Close thing. Heading back. Obey around. It's some kind of trap. Oh, it's definitely a trap. Seems like we've been walking into a lot of them lately. Wait, do you hear that? I was going to drop down and it's going to be a big fight. Here we go. Ready? Coming. Kill it. Guess not. All right, never mind. I don't even remember how to get back. Easy does it, rookie. We got a long day of guard duty ahead. I don't mind. I enjoy guard duty. Of course you do. I feel like that isn't the way back. Maybe it is? I don't know. We'll give it a crack. We'll get it. Consult our map, I suppose. is kind of unhelpful. Maybe it is the right way. I guess we'll see. I think this might be a lift to the lower floor. It'll be good for heading back. Ah, gotcha. Here we go. Here we go. Give you one of these. I reckon this is something that I hope the sequel doesn't do is this backtracking. You do a lot of backtracking in this game. Like maybe probably too much backtracking. Like you finish the objective and then you've got to like go, go back. And just 
teleport me there, you know? BD, help please. Thanks, BD. Oh, there's also Project Lucasfilm Game Projects. The Indiana Games, and Indiana Games. Indiana Jones game made by Bethesda Machine Games. Be an Xbox exclusive. Yeah, I'm pretty keen to see what that is. Um, I think to Oh, I missed. God. I think um, Todd Howard is creative director or something. He's doing, like, he's overseeing the Indiana Jones game. I know that. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see what that is, too. That'll be a way off, I think. I don't think that's any fun. Here we go. Need like a glider. Oh, hello. Bad niche. Hello. Who are you? Hey! Reawaken, God, I beat the crap out of you. Uh, He's director like Cory Barlog. BD, where are we? BD one. Hello, buddy. Where are you? BD? Gotta find a way out of here. Wherever well, here is. And on that note, I think we might leave it there for today. Or not, we were still in chapter three. You have Mick. Oh. All right, we're gonna leave it there for today, chat. That'll do us. I need to go have some lunch. Thank you guys for hanging out. We had a good chat today about various things. I had a good time. Hope you all enjoyed the stream. We'll be back later this week. I'll probably do another Fallen Order stream, maybe on Thursday. My Thursday, probably pretty much everyone else is like Wednesday. Um, probably do one then. If you haven't, go and check out my Redfall video that I put out today. Go and watch it, like it, comment on it, do all that good stuff. I'll put a link in the chat guys here you go here comes the link click that link go watch that video like it comment on it do all that good stuff um and if you're not already join the discord there's a link to the discord as well maybe there it is a good time all right but yeah thank you guys for hanging out i'll see you in the next stream have a good day friends